Happy birthday, Amber. Happy birthday, you 30 year old. You're so old. So, I recently found out that 30 is the new 20. So, congratulations. Happy birthday, Amber. Woo! If you'll remember, uh, there used to be a saying uh, don't trust anyone over 30. So that doesn't apply to you because we never trusted you before, even when you were 21. Hey Amber, happy birthday! Oh my gosh, the big 3-0! Oh my god, I'm so happy for you! Love from Tennessee! Bye! Hi Amber, happy 30th darling. My, you're still a young thing. Enjoy these years. Many, many more. Bye-bye. We love you. Amber Lovell, a force to be reckoned with since 1985. Amber, I just wanted to wish you a happy birthday. I can't believe you're 30. And even though everybody thinks you're super sweet, I know the real Amber. You got plumpy, you got plumpy. Love you. Happy birthday. Happy birthday, Amber. Can't wait to see you this summer. Hope all is well. Okay. Happy birthday, Amber. I love you. Happy birthday, my beautiful cousin, Amber. I hope you have an amazing day. I wish I could celebrate with you in person, but um, I'm sending you lots of love on this day because you deserve it. You're an amazing, amazing human being, and I'm lucky to have you as a cousin. I love you so much. Happy birthday. I remember a birthday party right here in this very yard. Uh, you were maybe eight, nine years old. And uh, we had a little table set up, and uh, you had your friends here, five or six little school friends and all of that, Holly from across the street. And uh, they brought your cake out, you blew the candles out, sang happy birthday, and they took all the candles out of the cake. And then you smushed your face in the cake, so that you just had frosting like this. Oh boy, everybody, all your friends thought you were so wacky, and they thought you were so cool. Hey Amber, I cannot believe that you were 30 years old. It is ridiculous that you were 30 years old. I mean, that's young compared to me, but the fact that I saw you when you were this big, and I held you, and you were always my little buddy, and I have so many great memories of you, but I think my best memory is of us planting a tomato plant over a dead cat. We fertilized a tomato plant with Weezer the cat, and we had crazy tomatoes. I love you, happy birthday. I am so proud of the woman that you have become. 30, 30, I always heard you couldn't trust anybody over 30. Well, you still got one more year, over 30. You're just 30. Happy birthday. I, I got it there. Happy birthday, Amber. It's been springtime here since Christmas. I really don't know what the fuck you're doing in Texas. Well, I do know what the fuck you're doing in Texas. I don't know why the fuck you would stay in Texas. I hope you get this out of your system and you can come back and be here with us. I remember your first birthday, Amber. We all came down to Huntington Beach and we had a little party and you had a little red pointy hat on the top of your head and Grandpa was holding you in his arms and, you know, we had... We had the, uh, got, brought the cake out for you and you looked at it and then we, uh, we were all standing in a circle and we started to sing happy birthday and you like looked at Kelly and Phyllis and you looked at each person in the circle, your mom and your dad, I think Aunt Brenda was there and you looked around at me and then all of a sudden you looked back at Grandpa and your eyes got real big and it was just clear to everybody that in that moment you got it that we were all singing for you. I'm sure you didn't know that it was your first birthday but you knew we meant it for you. So we mean it for you today too kiddo. Happy birthday.
Happy 30th birthday, Amber. We all love you and miss you so much. I hope you have a great time and uh, don't get in too much trouble. Just remember, Amber, I'll always be younger than you. No, I mean, we should sit down and go through photo albums one day. I have all those photo albums. Uh, but the one thing that stands out, probably my funniest birthday memory of you, is when we lived in Santa Monica and it was you and me and we were struggling. I was trying to make it a nice life, but uh, you know we were just an odd couple trying to make the best out of a tough situation. And, and uh, we didn't really have any money to do anything. And you came home one day and said, Dad, I want a quinceanera. And I really didn't know what a quinceanera was, so I thought to myself, in my mind I saw an immigrant family in Van Nuys, California with pinatas and, and you know, the, the men were working on their Chevys because they didn't run and uh, the ones that weren't working on their Chevys were drinking Budweiser and I couldn't for the life of me figure out where the hell you got this quinceanera thing because it's nothing we'd ever done in our family. Um, and so, you know, if you were here, we would throw you a quinceanera for your 30th birthday party. But you're in Texas, so you missed out. But we were thinking about you, and these guys are really annoying, and I love you. Hey, Am. Lakata and I wish you a very happy 30th birthday. Kisses. Happy birthday to you. Anyway, happy birthday. I hope you're enjoying Austin, Texas. And remember, hook them horns, yes!